Hey, what's up guys, Andy here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the best VPNs that you can use on your Android device. So if you're looking for a good Android VPN, then I urge you to watch on because you're in the right place. Now, of course, Android may be the most popular operating system in the world, but it's not the most privacy friendly. The Android OS comes pre-installed on many smartphones and can include software components that feed your data to advertising services. This can be frustrating unless you use a VPN for Android to protect your device. The market on Android VPNs can be tricky to navigate. So to help you out, I tested more than 30 of the most popular VPNs out there to come up with this list of the three best ones to use for your Android. So which VPNs landed at the top? Now, right out of the gate, my number one recommendation uh, for a VPN on your Android is ExpressVPN. Express offers rapid connection speeds, uh, fantastic security, and near perfect 24 seven customer support. And, and, and not only is it the most powerful VPN on Android, but it also is one of the easiest to use. It has a, a clean, simple interface and tons of servers around the world. It's no surprise that it's one of the top rated VPNs on the market today. For example, when you're on the go, you'll be able to access any Netflix library you want, as well as your iPlayer, uh, Hulu, Amazon Prime accounts. Express doesn't stop there though. Just wait. If you want to delve into the guts of the app to personally configure it, uh, you'll be able to do that as well. Just like on the desktop client, you'll be able to switch between a selection of protocols, uh, or you can activate a kill switch to protect you should your connection fail. And you can even use split tunneling if you want to choose which apps to route through the VPN and which ones not to route through the VPN. You know, a another interesting development as far as September 2020, is ExpressVPN's introduction of its own lightweight protocol. Um, built from scratch, it's, it's incredibly lightweight and promises to deliver uh, excellent speeds. Now, for most apps, it's, it's still in, in private beta, but Android users can sign up to the public beta and get access to lightweight before anyone else. So that, that's kind of cool. And Although the five device limit isn't the largest, I mean, it's enough. It's enough to cover all your mobile devices, plus your desktop computer and smart TV as well. Um, and if you have any troubles, their online support and live chat will help you out in just minutes. Now, I do have to say there is no trial, but there is uh, an industry standard 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, guarantee. Uh, in case you discover it's, it's not quite what you, you want. However, as the best Android VPN available, it's unlikely to come to that. Now, if you'd like to give Express a try, I'll include a link in the description where you can learn more about how to save money off the regular price if you are interested. And I mean, come on, who's not interested in saving a little bit of money? And then for my second recommendation for an Android VPN is Nord VPN. Okay, if if you've only heard of one VPN before, it's likely that it's Nord. I mean, with over 10 million downloads on the Play Store and and excellent reviews, the VPN Titan is a is a tempting proposition, and it performed well in in my personal tests. Now. It's evident that NordVPN has prioritized the, the security of its customers. It's, it, it offers double VPN and, and onion over VPN, plus a good selection of protocols should you want to change them. And you'll have Nord's CyberSec malware uh, and phishing protocols. Nord has, has recently been certified by a second independent audit 
to be truly zero logging. So if privacy is a priority for you and, and who isn't a privacy uh, priority for, uh, that's a huge plus. Also, their VPN app is, is powerful and there's plenty of configuration available if, if you do want to venture into the settings. However, I, I will say one drawback is it's slightly awkward design. Uh, the VPN on Android mirrors the desktop client's layout and opens up with a, a map-based interface. And while this, this does work well on a larger monitor or tablet, uh, limited real estate on an iPhone means it, it can be hard to find the exact server you want. Now, there, there's a server list available, but really I'd like to see it straight off the bat instead of having it, it somewhere hidden in the, uh, the works. So uh, aside from that one gripe, NordVPN is as successful as it is for a reason. It does well with its security and easy to use apps, uh, a, a great support network, uh, and really has a good price. I mean, it, it's certainly one to keep on your radar. Okay, now for my final recommendation is Surfshark. Uh, it is by far my favorite budget-friendly Android VPN. So not only does Surfshark offer one of the cheapest Android VPNs, but it's also one of the most advanced in terms of features and security. And Surfshark offers no logs, no leaks, and a new GPS spoofing feature to keep you hidden at all times. Also, thanks to its camouflage mode, you can access restricted content in censored countries such as like China. Surfshark is incredibly easy to set up and use. In fact, privacy is, is just one click away. Despite a lower server count of around 3,200 servers uh, in more than like 65 countries, once you download Surfshark, it provides some of the best speeds on the Android VPN market. And it also unblocks Netflix, uh, allows torrenting, and has a dependable 24 seven live chat. And just like the other VPNs, I will put a link to Surfshark that includes a coupon code to help you even save some money uh, in the video description below. All right, so those are my top VPN recommendations for Android. But before I end this video, I would like to take the time to answer some uh, frequently asked questions that I get about this topic. So for the first question, uh, why isn't a free VPN for Android a good option? Well, that's an excellent question. And as, as with many things in life, you get what you pay for. And in the context of a VPN, free usually means compromises to security and, and performance. So paying for a quality VPN can make your experience worthwhile. Uh, it can also provide more services and maximize your data privacy. Free can also make a difference in the, the quality of customer support that helps to, to sort out any problems. I mean, all these things just cost money, so going with the paid service is, is usually a better route. Free VPNs sound great, but they, they can be a risky hassle. Now, for the second question, is it safe to use a VPN on Android? Well, using a VPN on an Android device is safe if you avoid shady and ill-reputed providers. Uh, there are plenty of free Android VPNs on Google Play Store that promise no logs, fast speeds, and Netflix access. And in truth, most of them just collect and sell your data to third parties, sometimes also adding a dose of ads uh, on there as well. However, if you install a reputable Android VPN that has a strict no logs policy, you'll be fine. And for my final question, will a VPN drain the battery on your Android device? Well, that's a great question. So most VPNs won't drain your Android's battery. While it uh, 
used to be the case with older OS versions. There are a few newer complaints about battery time when the VPN is on. Of course, if you actively use a VPN for streaming or torrenting, the battery will drain much faster. Thankfully, premium VPNs offer a battery saving option. So when your phone's screen is off, uh, so is the VPN. Uh, it's best to combine battery saving with the always on VPN Android setting. Uh, in that case, any app that sends data while your screen is turned off won't work. Without the always on VPN, apps uh, would connect in the background uh, to an unprotected network. So hopefully this video was helpful. If so, please uh, do me a favor and give a thumbs up and that always makes my day. And also just a reminder, if you are interested in any of the VPNs I mentioned in this video, be sure to click on the special discount link that I'll put in the description area below so that uh, you can even save some money as you're trying out some of these VPNs. Also, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to our cyber family. Be sure to stay safe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.